Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This time last year, I did a mini makeover in this space and while well, I sold almost everything and we are starting over, this video I'm doing a feature wall, Facebook market flips, we have new furniture, rugs, and of course, a lot of decorating. I'm starting off with this antique side table that I picked up from Facebook Market. I loved everything about it except for the finish, so I am stripping it with Easy Off Oven Cleaner. I let it sit for 30 minutes and scrubbed off the stain with some soap and water. I repeated this process three times and let the table sit out in direct sunlight for it to dry. Once it dried, I did have some areas that I had to sand, but after sanding, the wood had a orange tint to it, so neutralized the wood. I did a paint wash. I have some beige paint on hand, so I use that. I've seen people use white, but white is a bit too stark and I was scared to use it. To start off, I did one part of paint and two parts of water. I ended up adding more water to thin it out because I wanted a lighter consistency. I wanted a very light finish, that way the wood grain would still peek through. I also spray painted the knob black instead of just replacing it. My second Facebook market flip is this coffee table. I also tried the easy off method on this one and it did absolutely nothing. The stain would not come off, so unfortunately I had to do a lot of sanding to take the stain off of it. I'll share with you guys what that looks like later on in the video, but my last DIY is this hearth and hand lamp. It is the perfect shape and size and has the prettiest lampshade, but I just did not love the color. I went with a light beige, which is accessible beige by Sherwin-Williams. I have used this color so many times on my channel. Also, the paint type is the emerald paint by Sherwin-Williams, so I don't have to add a top coat to this. The paint won't budge at all. Moving on to the dining area, we are doing a vertical shiplap feature wall. This is something that I have been wanting to do in this space for over a year now and a huge thank you to my hubby for knocking out this wall while I cooked lunch and cuddled our babies. I will have an exact link to the boards we use down below in the description box for you guys. We decided to nail the woods into the studs at the top, middle, and bottom of the wall. I've seen people do a glue and a nails or just glue, but we wanted something that wouldn't damage the wall if we remove the shiplap in the future. Application is pretty easy, but I do have a few tips for you guys when doing a wall like this. If you don't have straight edge baseboards or plan on changing your baseboards, I wouldn't recommend doing it because it just won't look great. We had to change the baseboard on this wall to cover up the crooked lines. Baseboards are expensive and it's not something we plan on doing just yet, maybe sometime this summer, but for now we had to just change that wall. Our walls from baseboard to crown molding are 8 feet and the boards we purchased were also 8 feet, but rookie mistake, we were thinking these boards were cut straight to begin with, but they are not, so I had to add a tiny trim piece to the top to cover up the crooked lines and the new base board covered up the crooked lines at the bottom. For paint, I went with Sherwin-Williams in Snowbound to match the rest of the walls. I thought about doing a beige color just on this wall, but I don't love that look. I like for things to flow seamlessly in an open space like this one. Moving on to the fun stuff, adding our new furniture. I'm starting off with assembling my new chairs. A huge thank you to Nathan James for partnering up with me in today's video. They sent me six of their Linus chairs. I think that's what they're called in light brown and flax. Nathan James offers a bedroom, living, kitchen, and dining room furniture. They also offer lighting. 
I have seen so many of their furniture pieces go viral and for good reason, once I got everything unboxed, putting the chairs together was fairly easy. Style, easy assembly, and quality is what they are all about and so far I absolutely love the timeless style of these chairs and I cannot wait to share with you guys how perfect they are with my new dining table. I will have a link down to their site in the description box for you guys. I sold my rugs on Facebook Market, honestly I sold them for the same price that I purchased them which was great and I purchased new ones, this one is an absolute stunner, it is a checkered jute, I shared it with you guys over on Instagram and everyone loved it. My brand new table is from Wayfair, I wanted a pottery barn look without the pottery barn price tag and I could not be happier, this table is perfect. The Nathan James chairs were the cherry on top for me. They paired beautifully with this table. At this point, I was screaming because I loved the setup so much. My drapes are from Kurtara. I worked with them last year and I still love them so I won't be changing them. I also kept my console table and I just got rid of the painting and the sconces that I had here. I replaced the painting with this mirror from Amazon. I love its shape. I wanted something that wasn't round or arched and this mirror was perfect but it does warp a little bit on the right side so I'm hoping that it's just a faulty one and my replacement is better. style of the console table i'm starting off with this lamp that i shared with you guys on instagram and here on youtube that i purchased from tj maxx and so many of you have purchased it as well and love it next to that i added a stack of books you guys know i absolutely love my books Can't even get through to your mind because you don't want to listen and over on the other side, for some height and balance, I added my McGee & Co. wicker vase. For the winter season, we are bringing the outside in, and I've seen so many designers just use bare branches in their vases, and I love the look, so I decided to give it a try. Always leaving, then you got me chasing you like a Next to my vase, I added a, another stack of books, and right on top, I added these bells from Lux B Co. I have been loving the maximalist style when it comes to styling tables and consoles. I decided to remove the sconces because I wasn't able to ever add a lamp to my console here, but now I can and I don't regret taking them down at all. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. This is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more. Now that this space is completed, I'm moving on to the formal living room side and it's an open floor plan so my main focus is making sure that everything flows together. This rug is a Laloy and Amber Interiors collab, possibly one of the softest rugs that I have ever walked on. My kids call it a blanket, it's that soft. I have been waiting for almost two years to purchase this sofa right here. It is the Studio McGee Vivian Park upholstered sofa in the color cream. Three things I was looking for in a sofa was slope arms, one cushion, and something on the smaller side since this is a shared space and it was perfect. In the corner, I added the antique table I refinished. I could not be happier with how this one turned out. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedy. And along with that, I added two accent chairs from Target. You guys have seen these. I have purchased them during the holiday season and they are pretty comfortable. I really like them. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. 
Here's the coffee table I sanded from Facebook Marketplace. I like it, but I don't love it. How do you guys feel about it? Let me know in the comments down below. My ottomans are from Target. These are the only other furniture pieces from the space that I didn't sell and I still love them very much. To fill the space above the sofa, I'm adding a frame that was recommended by my friend here on YouTube, Evelyn Hernandez. It is a 27 by 40, insanely large, and it's just $35, so I had to grab it. My print is from Etsy. I wanted something moody but also neutral that will work with every season, and since my walls are white, I wanted something on the darker side. I have been on the hunt for iron candlestick wall sconces to place on either side of the frame but they are sold out everywhere and I cannot find them but in the meantime I decided to add this picture light from Amazon. Adding the last final touches to the space for the side table, I placed the hearth and hand lamp that I painted at the beginning of this video. To the side table, I also added another book. This has been one of my favorites. I really love the color and shade of this brown, along with a chamber stick holder from the Vintage Rug Shop. To style my sofa, I'm using pillow covers from Colin and Finn. I have been loving their covers and you guys will probably see me use these all year long. My inserts are from Amazon. They are hands down the best inserts I have ever had. I highly recommend picking these up if you are looking for great inserts. This stunning decorative throw blanket was gifted to me by a &E Textile House and the detail on this is just so beautiful. They were so kind enough to send it to me as a gift and I love it so much. For the coffee table, I added one of my favorite books. This thing is absolutely massive and my vintage Chinese water pot from Olive Atelier. I clipped some dried hydrangeas from a bush in my neighborhood. I love dry florals for the winter season. They also sell these on Etsy if you love this look. Mine are destroyed from all the storms we were having recently, so I might pick some up as well. For some added visual interest, I love the look of staggered pots. This one is from Walmart and the stems are from Hobby Lobby. The last and final touch are these candlestick holders from McGee & Co. They added the perfect height and balance to the side of the coffee table. I have been planning and purchasing items for this area for months now. We have lived in this home for over two years and I'm just now getting around to piecing my vision together. I sold so much furniture and decor to make a few splurges for the space and of course if it wasn't for you guys supporting me and my channel this would not be possible so thank you very much. Don't forget to leave a comment down below so that YouTube pushes my video. Make sure you guys check out Nathan James Furniture if you're looking for any furniture their link is down below. I hope you love spending time with me as much as I love filming this for you and I will see you guys in my next video.